guys how's it going so this is just going to be a quick little how-to tutorial um, I wanted to do a video about hats because it's winter and you gotta wear a hat in winter it just keeps you warm and it looks cute as a button so the type of hats that I always wear I have two hats that really get me through the entire winter in Sydney and I really like a beret. I think that a beret is really cute and stylish and I think you can pull it off, you know? A lot of people are scared of the beret, but there's nothing to be scared of. So that's what I'm gonna show you, how to wear a beret. So the first beret that I got is a really casual one. I got this in South Korea. Korea has fabulous fashion. They're known for that. Um, Seoul is like a shopping mecca. So if you ever get a chance, definitely go shopping in Seoul. So it's a bit of a um, beanie slash beret here. It's crocheted, a crocheted beret. And I used to have these in three different colors, gray, white, and black, but now I've Somehow I've lost the other two, and black is all you really need anyway. Black goes with everything. So if you're new to the beret, start with a black beret. And you want to kind of put it on like you would put on a swim cap. you got to duck your head down and flip it back. And it'll look just like that when you first put it on. Now this is one way that you can, of course, wear it. You can wear it... Um, it's through the middle of your forehead just like I'm doing here and that works really well if you don't have any bangs so if you do have bangs or if you want to another way to wear this is just pulling some of your hairs through the front like that and pushing it back a little bit so it, it kind of sits on the very top tippy part of your forehead so I kind of like that because then your hair goes, um, gives you a nice face frame and it doesn't really hide your face at all because you don't want to hide your face. Um, the other thing you can do if the black beret is a little bit boring to you, if you want to kind of spice it up and give it something more girly or more feminine you can add a flower. So this is obviously an artificial flower and it's a clip, just a regular butterfly clip. And a lot of the time I will simply clip it onto my hat, onto the beret, just like that. And it looks really cute and it just gives it that really feminine touch. And also if you're going into spring, you can kind of transfer the beret from winter um, into more of a spring look by using the flower. So I also got that flower in Korea. Um, if you're shopping there, you can check out Myeongdong or any one of the malls will have those kind of crafty um, flower barrettes. So that is a really common casual daytime look during winter that I use, the crochet beret. The other beret that I use is from Macy's. And this is rabbit's fur, and I don't think it's 100%. It is 27% rabbit's fur and the rest nylon. It's really soft. Like I said, it's from Macy's, so you can get it in the States and the US. And it's really cute. It's like a white leopard print, and the black parts kind of look like little hearts, so it's kind of girly. And this one, I would just wear covering my forehead because it's it's meant for like a much warmer look and it's a little bit bigger. It's not supposed to be as um, saggy and baggy as the crocheted one. So the crocheted one's more of a boho look and this is more of a preppy put together real French kind of look for winter. So this is for a really cold day. It's not that cold today so today I'll probably just wear the crocheted beret that I've been wearing for five years. Um, so if you have any questions about how to wear the beret in winter or spring, um, leave your comments. And if you liked this tutorial, please comment and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. 
you give me a thumbs up on my video, I will check out your videos and leave you comments and subscribe to you as well. So I hope to hear from you and that's all.